Hi, my name is Ari Bernick. I'm studying journalism and legal studies. I'm from South Florida, and I am so excited to be giving you all a tour of Northwestern's Hillel. Northwestern's Hillel was founded in 1934. In my experience, it's really a place for Jewish and non-Jewish students alike to come together, be themselves, and feel comfortable in this environment. It's also a beautiful building, and I personally love spending time in here. For one reason, aside from the amazing people, so we have this lovely coffee machine area, and there's so many fun drinks that I like to make. I really like the hot chocolate. At Northwestern's Hillel, we have a dairy kitchen and we also have a meat kitchen. It's important to remember that all food served here in Hillel is kosher. So some clubs at Northwestern that are really cool that take advantage of the kitchen are the cookbook club, which is really awesome. They allow students to have a space to provide and make foods that they grew up eating in their Jewish households and just allows them to explore in the kitchen. We also have Hala for Hunger, which makes Hala and the profits from it go straight to charity, which is awesome too. Another really awesome thing about Hillel is they offer kosher options for students throughout the week. In addition to this, we also have dining halls on campus that have kosher options, such as Allison, which is a dining hall on South Campus that really allows a great variety of kosher foods. I would say that even non-Jewish students really, really, really like the kosher station because they have so much variety and the food is really good. Also in this room, we like to celebrate Shabbat, which happens on Friday nights. And so the room that we are just in, they usually lay out all the food in there. You have all these tables set up in here and then you come and you sit with your friends, celebrate the holiday, it's really lovely. How does Shabbat work at Hillel? So on Friday nights, there are three types of services. We have Reform, Conservative, and Orthodox services, and they're all followed by a dinner. Shabbat is my favorite thing here at Hillel. I love being able to sit with my friends, have really great conversations at dinner, eat great food. It's just a really great time. It's a really great way to the end of the week, and it's probably my favorite experience at Northwestern. Welcome to Hillel's Lower Level Lounge. So in my experience, Hillel uses this space for programming and to learn about really cool topics like Jewish Learning Fellowship and a pre-orientation program called Schmooze, which I was a part of. Let me tell you about it. The JLF program is really cool at Hillel. I'm actually really happy to say that I'm a part of it. So I go on Wednesdays from 5.30 to 7. So what they do is you come here to Hillel and we sit in this awesome space and we talk about everyday topics to friendships, to relationships, to really anything that you could think of. And we bring that relatable conversation back to Jewish literature and Jewish texts. So one of my favorite conversations that we had was about friendships and relationships and how it correlated back to Jewish literature. We listened to a podcast. And one really cool thing about the JLF program is that they provide you local Evanston food. So we've had Joy Yi here, we've had picnic, and we eat this while we converse with friends. And it's really, really just an awesome thing. I'm so happy to be a part of it. You also get a stipend at the end of this program as well. Another thing that they have here in this space is um, the Schmooze pre-orientation for Halal, which is really cool also. Um, Schmooze is our pre-orientation program for first years. Jewish students in Hillel can really get involved with the Schmooze pre-orientation program, can meet first years, and really provide them with the first person and point of view of Northwestern. I actually met my best friends in this pre-orientation program as a first year, and it was super awesome. And we always joke back that the reason that we were friends in the first place was because of Schmooze we met right here. 
15 to 20% of undergraduate students at Northwestern are Jewish. So this means that 1,200 to 1,600 students at Northwestern are Jewish. For me, I always felt like I have a Jewish community here on campus. It's really supportive and really great um, that I have Hillel here to be a community for me. And I feel like a lot of students also feel that way. Welcome to this multi-purpose room in Hillel. We are now upstairs. We can use this room for a lot of things here at Hillel. Last year, my freshman year, we used this room for high holiday services because there's an arch we can use this room for services. Typically, we use it for celebratory events like the Night of Appreciation where Jewish students are honored. Typically, it's really for our seniors, go seniors. And this is just a really great space. Um, it's beautiful during the day. You have a great view outside and one of my favorite spots in Hillel. So we are on the upper level of Hillel. This is a conference room. It's a really great space. It's also a place where we can have conservative services. Right now, we are about to have a open exec meeting for students. We have a lot of pizza boxes over here because students are going to be coming in hungry and have a lot of things to say and a lot of things on their mind. And we are happy to hear them. So what is this space that we're sitting at? This is actually my favorite spot. Well, I love sitting here. I love being able to sit with friends and talk and be able to enjoy this beautiful view. It's super fun and relaxing. Um, a really great memory that I have in here is for Break the Fast. I ate my bagel and my lox in this room with my friends, and we just sat and enjoyed each other's company as we scarfed down our bagel and lox. <laughs> Something really cool about Hillel is that you can study abroad. So you could study abroad in the Hebrew University in Jerusalem or another university in Beersheba. These are a great way to have interactive experiences outside the Northwestern community. In addition to studying abroad, there's other ways for Jewish students to connect with their Jewish identity. So Northwestern actually sponsors a birthright taglit trip, um, which is really awesome. I actually went on birthright, not through Hillel, but I did go on birthright last year and it was really, really cool. And it would have been really, really cool if I went with Hillel, but this is an option for students and I would highly recommend it. If you have any questions about this space or want to visit, you should email hillel at u.northwestern.edu. So one thing that I really want to stress about Hillel is just how inviting it really is. You could be super religious, you cannot be religious at all, and this is a space for you. This is a space to feel comfortable and to be yourself. And that is my favorite thing about Hillel. It's hard to pick just one, but that's probably my favorite thing about Hillel. Thanks everyone for coming with me on this tour. If you really like this, you should click over here to subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this one of tours at Northwestern, you should watch down here. Follow Northwestern on all of our social media. Someone really cool is the content creator for Northwestern's TikTok. It's been a pleasure and it's been super fun.